Hey guys, and welcome to episode 33 of FTB University, where today, working on bees, working on bees. Uh, just whipped up a quick squeezer, uh, nothing too major there, just a bit of, bit of bronze, tin and glass. Uh, now in the squeezer, I've been putting seeds, uh, aubergine seeds don't work, unfortunately, but uh, beetroot and just the regular seeds that make wheat, wheat seeds, I guess. And getting us some seed oil. And then you take the seed oil out. I'm just using a bucket. You can, I mean, normally you'd use a reservoir. You can use a pipette, which to be fair, actually, I'm probably gonna want one of these. And they just let you move like weird number, weird amounts of fluid out of machines, which is gonna be useful. Let's whip up one of them. Yeah, like we can grab out the 700. Uh, grabbed out the 700 uh, seed oil that was in here. And we've now got it in our carpenter. Now, carpenter, he was pretty easy to make as well. Inter carpenter. Yeah, that was just more bronze. Yeah, bronze and glass. Now, the carpenter is what we're going to use to make what we need for the apiary, which is just wood, but it needs an impregnated casing. Which turns logs into impregnated casings. And we're gonna want a bunch of these. So we grab our logs. Uh, I guess we'll use silver wood. I think it'll work. We'll find out shortly. And yes, it's gonna make impregnated casings. And we'll just uh, speed this guy up. Yes, and you'll see we're, we're out of seed oil. But now. We're probably going to need more logs. So we need some planks as well. Actually, I think it's just planks. Uh, we need a centrifuge, but not yet. We need these apiaries. They just need slabs and planks. Nice. Okay, seven apiaries. Now, these are better than the bee houses, and we'll, we'll see why in a moment. I'm getting some quest rewards. Ah, oh, that was for making the carpenter. Now crates, I think you can just put stuff in them. Um, oh, and it needs water. Nah, can't be bothered. But yeah, I think that's how this works. You can just store items in these crates. These apiaries. Pretty similar to a bee house. In fact, hey, whoa, we can see heaps of stuff in there. That's cool. Let's go grab our bee houses. Oh, and I just got blindness. <laughs> In fact, maybe we should take off our... Nah, I like the run speed. We'll just deal with warp. We'll just deal with warp. So here's a bee house. And okay, there's some differences. Ah, oh, this can take frames. And I think... Yeah, I think it helps with mutations, but we'll find out in a moment. Right, and the other thing I want to make is this portable analyzer. It's made in a carpenter, so we're going to need to get that seed oil with our pipette out of this dude. Nice, because we need water. And a couple of these guys. And this should be all we need. I need two buckets of water there. Oh, whoops. And you need to put the stuff in there. <laughs> that also helps. Yeah, that's what confused me the first time I used the carpenter. Is you got to put, actually put the stuff in this bottom bit. It's a little bit different to how some other things operate. And ooh, we can see through the machine. Cool. And hey, a portable analyzer. And quest rewards, honeydew, perfect. Because uh, the honeydew, which we're going to get out of centrifuging these honeycombs, is what powers this dude. So now we can scan 16 bees. And right, if we're making a simmering comb, we want to make... I mean, these bees would be cool. I think we'll start with a sinister. He was the easiest, and that's just a cultivated in a modest or a cultivated in a tropical. So first we need cultivated. He comes from a common and a forest, so we need a common. 
and common comes from forest and meadows, which is easy. We've been trying to crossbreed these, so we may have one. Start with pristine, so he's already forest and meadows. Cool. What are you, meadows forest? Meadows, meadows. Forest, forest, so let's breed this forest meadows and meadows forest and hopefully we get a common bee out of them would be ideal let's give you a flower and because I'm lazy and this is going to use up <laughs> the rest of my time in the bottle Essentially, it's probably better to set these up and then like go do something else while they're breeding. Hey, look, we got more flowers. So we ended up with, hmm, potentially not what we wanted. Meadows, meadows, that's bad. Meadows, meadows, that's also bad. So now we want to breed meadows and forest to try and get that crossbreed and it's time to sleep. And then just kind of rinse and repeat. Yeah. <laughs> if you start timing a bottling heaps of... Oh man, that's an annoying noise. If you start timing a bottling heaps of these things, like, you're going to get a lot of bees everywhere. Hey, we got a common drone. Perfect. So, what we really need... So he's first meadows, which is an ideal. He's common meadows, which also is an ideal. Get them going. And our gender stream makes this a whole lot easier, but uh, you might remember from the quests that gender stream is locked behind building the Alvary, which is a massive, massive... Well, it's not really massive. It's a massive beehive. It's a 3x3x3 you know, three 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 beehive. And hey, look. Hey, we've got a cultivated, which is what we're after. Now, I won't rush into trying to get the Sinister one. I want to build up a stockpile. So he's common meadows, he's common meadows. We need to get a purebred common common. And then once you've got that, you can automate this with pipes. And you pretty much like pipe out the back and come back around and then into a chest in the front. I'll show you it anyway when we get there. And then you leave it running until you build up a big supply of common drones. So hey look, we're doing pretty good here. I'm gonna run out of uh I need you though. So he's common meadows. Common common. And you are common meadows. So we want to use the common one. Now there are other factors. You see he's the slowest. Because if you use this guy, he's got the slower and slower production. Now slow is faster than slowest uh, so you can muck around and try and get like a, a really good bee but yeah maybe maybe later i'll just get a bunch of sinister bees producing the the stuff we need i have one more go uh, getting a pure bread and then we can just leave this guy running pretty much once we set up a little bit of simple automation Common, common, common meadows, common cultivated. Hmm. Let's keep him over with this dude. We still haven't got a pure common, common. And we're out of honey drops. Of course. Um, I don't want to start breeding these yet. So we're going to need a centrifuge. And hey, that's that's pretty simple. And you're going to be centrifuging these honeycombs. And yeah, these honey drops are what we are going to use for powering the beerizer. So common kind of meadow, so that's not ideal. Common common, so we'll probably use that one. Probably breed these two. Oh, 
not having the best luck. Not having the best luck. Getting a few honeycombs though, which is nice. So we got meadows common. And a common common. So that's, I mean, it's not too bad. We've got a cultivated meadows. We can try again to breed the meadows common with a common common. And hey, looking good, looking good. Common, 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 and what are these? Common, common. All right, so we got a choice now. We can, let's just put you over there. <laughs> Very confusing. Uh, all right, so this bee is more fertile. So we want to use this one, because we'll get more drones out of them. And yeah, we might end up... Potentially, we could still lose it, but let's do that. And now this will only ever produce common common bees. Cool. And then we pretty much want to be breeding... Let's get rid of these ignoble ones, because... Ignobles will eventually die and you won't get a princess back. Which means you can lose... Potentially, if you're using them for like crossbreeding bees, you could potentially lose uh, lose a breed that you've been working on. I mean, you should still get some of the drones, but yeah, not ideal. Yeah, we want to try and get uh, get some other breeds. Uh, we want to be doing you and you. These guys might crossbreed into something. Yeah, we'll just get a bunch of bees running all at the same time. Now we need modest. Um, potentially. Let's get some valiant ones going. Uh, I suppose we could bealize them. Find out which one's the best one. I think they give you cocoa or something. Yeah, they do. And you get sugar sometimes. I don't really need it, but <laughs> it's fun collecting all the bees. So these are actually all the same. And we're out of honey, that's okay. Doesn't matter too much. I'll just get some bees going. And oh look we got some some unnatural hunger. Okay. Yeah. As so well keep crossbreeding some bees. Uh, probably gonna start running out of time in a bottle, to be fair. And yeah, I'll work on getting cultivated, which is just a common and a forest. Which, hey, I think we we're breeding that somewhere. What about this guy? Common, so we got common. Common and a forest, so we could. I think we're out of bee houses, to be fair. Well, we don't really need valiant queens just yet, so let's get you going. Yeah, I'll work on that and I'll show you the automation once we hopefully get some bees going. Then we pick the best bee out of these. We're out of honey. And these are both the same anyway, so it doesn't really matter. There must be some sort of difference for them not to stack. But that's okay. Cool. So yeah, back in a bit when we've hopefully got cultivated bees. All right, we're back. And <laughs> I've been traveling over to here trying to get these, these bees to breed because the problem is it's too humid and too cold for the desert bees over here. And then starting to breed them over there, occasionally, because we're crossbreeding them with uh, cultivated bees, they turn back into these guys who can't breed over there because it's too hot and too dry. So what we need to work on is getting a habitat former. This is going to allow us to make an area where the bees can 
like desert bees can breed over here. So I've got the, the cacti, which are the flowers for desert bees. Uh, managed to get, we've got cultivated bees just uh, constantly getting produced. They haven't uh, stabilized yet. And what I mean by that is eventually you'll end up stacking the same bee over and over in here and that's when you're always going to get the same thing out of it. I mean, these are all purebred cultivated. They'll just have different stats, so this is fine. Uh, same thing happening here, but yep, they're starting to stack. Uh, managed to get majestic bees. This was kind of an accident. Um, but managed to get purebreds, so just got them looping as well. Um, they're going to be used for breeding some of the other bees to get into future stuff with, with bees. And our common drones are just sitting there producing honey, which is awesome. And as for any other stuff I've worked on, I don't think I should do the ally furnace. Um, I use this to make the uh, pulsating iron for these item conduits because yeah I didn't have the uh, inner iron machine. Now how I've got this working, if you have a conduit extracting, I'm just going to set to always active, out the back and you insert on the top and then insert into the chest, uh, you'll always get the princess which turns into a queen eventually but the princess will always get put in the slot and if you've got like a stable bee or at least a purebred bee you're always going to end up with the right bee in here you probably don't want to do it like in this situation where we don't know what we're going to get um i mean you'll end up with something at the end of it but it's probably not going to be the bee that you were actually after so yeah seeing as how i think it's going to take a while before we actually manage to get the sinister drone or queen that we're after a couple of things we need to make. Uh, we can make all of this stuff. This is just made in the, in the uh, carpenter. I think the circuit board is also used for something else. But we need this thermionic fabricator. And that's going to be used to make these electron tubes, which are, you know, they're, they're pretty simple. They're not too bad. Um, so we'll, probably, we'll have another dangly wire uh, in the area. So one of these, we just need a sturdy casing. And hey. Thermionic Fabricator. Cool, and this guy just needs some sand. And he'll turn that into melted glass. I think. We're gonna need the recipe in there first. And so the thing we're trying to make, uh, so we've got you, we need these dudes. They're just ironing redstone, so that's pretty simple. Missing liquid resource, but that's what this thing's making itself. I uh, could time in a bottle up, but I probably want that for bees, to be fair. So I'll leave you doing your thing. We can work on the other bits and pieces we need. So we need a couple of bronze gears. Um, you are tin. Uh, carpenter. I'm making more impregnated casings just for um I can't put that back in there. Just for making more bee stuff. So not that we needed this thing. Just one of them and why I think you need water in you. And hey, that's going to make that, but does he need Nope, that should be everything. Oh, of course. And hey, one of them. Cool. And you've got liquid glass. Oh, I haven't put the resources in there. Yep, they always get me, these forestry machines. And hey, that was quick. Um, I'll hold on to my sand, actually. I don't really need that many electron tubes just yet. Cool, so that goes in there, that goes in there. They can just chill in there. Now I should be able to get a habitat former. What am I missing? Steady casing, didn't I make these? I think that needs to go there. And it just would have lost that, but uh, habitat former. Yeah, I don't know why it doesn't pick these up. I think you can do stuff with these. Um, 
Yeah. Uh, so a habitat former. Nice. Yeah, we're completing some forestry quests, but none of them have quest rewards. Figure of circuit board I just saw in the quests. Ah, uh, so yeah. That's not what we're doing. That's not what we're doing. We've got a golem tree farm. Anyway. Now, I'm not sure what sort of area this takes up, but I do know that this guy's going to run on lava. So if we plonk you here, range 10 blocks. All right, okay. So what if we have you here? We have a range of two blocks. Okay, so it's sort of showing the area. We just need to be careful that it doesn't make the area hot over here, which it won't yet. Yeah, we can pick a desert. And it's missing the liquid resource, which is going to be lava. So, yeah, we'll check lava in you. And you should now make the area warmer. No power. Oh, I didn't realize you needed power. I feel like you don't need power. Kind of want to speed this up. So it's drying the area out. So it's no longer too dry. So we can probably turn this up to 20. And I'm assuming it'll use less. Stuff. Well, it's not actually putting the heat up it may actually need power which is a pain because my power is all the way over there um yeah that's a pain that's a pain all right if that's the case if i break this do you hold the lava you don't oh well that's a thing Yeah, this is pretty time consuming. Uh, bees are pretty slow. It's a lot faster with Genistry, but that's that's locked for a bit. And it could work to getting towards the Alvary. Um, Cause we've got the Majestic Bee and I've almost got the other bee you need, which is the Noble. These are both purebred nobles, but we just don't have a princess that's that type. Right, I'll... Uh, <laughs> Keep breeding these bees. I'll go check in the nether just to make sure that's not like a naturally occurring bee. And I've just been wasting my time. And yeah, then we'll be, we'll be, we'll be back. Well, today I learned that you can only breed sinister bees in the nether, which it doesn't actually say anywhere. <laughs> oh. Okay, it says right there. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I kept wondering, um just why it wasn't happening like it's a it's a decent chance like it's a 60 percent chance oh, it even does it if you hover over that <sighs> all right well yeah because i was looking here and it's like it's only a 12 percent chance why are these taking so long these only work in the nether so yep yep that's a thing all right, we did it. We have sinister bees, and they're both purebred, which means we're, we're done breeding these bees. Um, I might as well wait to see what these guys do, but yeah, it's time to... I even have the stuff here. I got these, but I don't have a chest. We're going to have to chunk load an area in the nether to just constantly get sinister bees, because these are going to produce the stuff that we want for making lava. Um, I guess I'll just flog. Okay. Um, now, do I have any... So we can still load a chunk in the nether. Cool. Now, the reason I didn't just do it straight away is because I think this bee is going to attack me. Pretty sure he's going to attack me. So I wouldn't mind putting him up high. Uh, he's also going to need nether wart, which I didn't grab. And actually, just thinking about it, no, I could breed this bee here. Because he's already bred. Um, definitely don't want it right in front of my 
space though. Now let's do them in the nether. Uh, because that'll need power to... Actually, I don't even know if Hellish is a biome. Like, can we breed this guy here? He might attack us if he works. Oh yeah. Okay. Ah, no flowers. Because he needs... Okay, well it's the right temperature though, so that's cool. So we put that there. He should work. Right? I thought that's the flower you want. Does it have to be fully grown? Well, I think this is going to work anyway. Um, that does say nether. Don't know if that counts. Um, I suppose we can test that over here, because these are fully grown ones. Now you should say that it's too cold over here, which is fine. I just want to see... So no flowers. Aren't these not the flowers you want? Okay, so this would work. Maybe they just need to be fully grown. So you should work once these are grown. Oh no, you're away. But yeah. These do a bit of damage. Um, we can nullify that damage, but we need this apiarist's armor. And that needs woven silk, which you only get from silk wisps, which you can get from silky propolis, which comes from silky comb, which comes from tropical bees, or exotic bees. One of those leperine ones, but you can only get them at certain times of the year. Yeah, tropical bees. So we could probably find these in a jungle. I think these guys attack you and poison you as well. Um, but they would give us the silky cone. This would require us to use another another one of these dudes. But <laughs> if we're quick. <laughs> yeah, let's just take the bee out. <laughs> See, he does a lot of damage. Um, should be able to do this. You should be extract. Always active. You'll insert. You will insert. And yeah. Cool. We're now going to have the bees that make lava. Um, we want, obviously want to breed up a bunch of these guys. I'm not sure if we can breed... Like if we end up with a heap of these drones... If we can breed them in the overworld, or if that has to happen um, in the nether as well. I guess we'll find out. Hopefully this works in the overworld. Well guys, we're getting close to uh, getting some uh, renewable lava. Now, probably less of a hassle just to pump it out of the nether, but at least this way it's going to be like infinite lava. that we Once we finally get it all set up, we're not going to have to worry about it. Probably other ways to do it, but this is, this is going to work. This is going to work. So yeah, this has uh, been an episode all about breeding bees to power our IC2 machines in the future. But hey, this has been Classic Duff. You've been watching the episode. Like and subscribe, and I'll be you in the next one.